Hey guys, it's Steven here, and today I'm back with another movie review, and today I am going to be reviewing Alien Covenant. So, Alien Covenant is directed by Ridley Scott and is the sequel to Prometheus, which came out in 2012, and is also the sixth installment in the Alien franchise, or it's the uh, eighth film if you count the Alien vs. Predator uh, movies, but anyways... Uh, in this film, we follow a colonization group as they uh, come across a uh, signal on this deserted planet while they're in the middle of, uh, you know, a desperate search to find a new planet to call home. So uh, when they get to this planet uh, to find where the signal's coming from, uh, one of the crew members gets infected by this deadly virus, and after that, uh, the crap hits the fan, uh, all kinds of twists and turns happen, and now... An alien is out to hunt them and kill them all. Um, so, guys, let's get into it. Let's first start off with uh, the acting. Now, some people may say that uh, most of the crew members are kind of disposable. I personally didn't feel that way. I personally liked uh, all the crew members. Mainly, um, the best performances of the movie are uh, Michael Fassbender and Michael Fassbender. <laughs> But really, Michael Fassbender is great in this film. He uh, plays the android. Uh, he doesn't play uh, David in this one. He plays Walter. And uh, he was really good in this film. I mean, he was kind of a an interesting character, kind of a complex character. And Michael Fassbender, I thought, did a great job in this movie. And uh, as for some of the other supporting characters, uh, you have uh, Catherine Watterson, who was in Fantastic Beasts, and Steve Jobs. Uh, I'd say she was pretty good in this movie for the most part. Uh, she's kind of playing like the uh, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Ellen Ripley character. And uh, I'd say sh that uh, Catherine Watterson did an okay, or a decent job in this movie, but uh, definitely no like Sigourney Weaver. Um, and then also some other supporting characters, you have, uh, Danny, Danny McBride in this movie, who, um, he has, uh, he's pretty much is, like, instantaneously likable in this movie. It's like, every scene he's in, he almost steals, uh, and Danny McBride is just, like, he's really good in this movie, and, uh, also, uh, you have Billy Crudup in this movie, um, from Watchmen. Uh, he was pretty good in the movie, um, I don't say he, I don't think he was perfect, um, but I thought, uh, as for just, like, the crew itself, uh, I thought everybody, uh, did a pretty good job. And, uh, next let's move on to the, uh, directing. Now, um, Ridley Scott, uh, directed Prometheus, as I said, he also helmed the original Alien, and, um... I'd say, uh, like Alien and Prometheus, uh, it's, he does a really good job directing this movie. He directs these really, like, big, intense, like, scary, suspenseful moments that, like, put you on the edge of your seat. Uh, and kind of like Alien, like, uh, you remember the scene in Alien when, you know, like, all the crew members were sitting at the table after the, uh, the face hugger, uh, came off of, uh, Kane, and then Kane, like, the xenomorph popped out of his chest? There's a scene like that, uh, or one or two scenes like that in this movie that really kind of, like, were scary, and I thought they were well shot and well directed, and, um, I think Ridley Scott did a great job with the directing in this movie, and, um, I'd say the way that Ridley Scott structures this movie, it's very similar to the way that, you know, Alien was structured in terms of, you know, Oh, well, I'll I'll get more into that once I get to the script and story. But uh, anyways, I'd say Ridley Scott did a, a really good job directing uh, Alien Covenant. Next, let's move on to the script and story. Now, this film, it's like, uh, in terms of beginning, middle, end, climax, resolution, you know, rising action, falling action, it's pretty much like the original Alien. And, um... Originally, um, we were supposed to get, you know, a sequel to Prometheus, but, um, now this is a sequel to Prometheus, um, but a lot of fans were upset with Prometheus, you know, because, uh, people expected an alien movie, we didn't get to see enough of the aliens, or whatever, um, and in this movie, um, it's like, it pretty much takes all the stuff 
from Prometheus and like throws it aside and now we have an alien movie. And um um I think that's the the script is overall good. Um I feel like if you didn't like Prometheus and you wanted an alien, you know, sequel or an alien prequel, I think this movie is more for you. Um, it's just like, um, I feel like especially the way that certain characters die, it was kind of predictable. And, um, I think that's like one of my main flaws with the movie is like, uh, especially towards the third act, it just like gets a little bit, um, predictable and you know the twists and turns that are going to happen. Um, but overall, as far as the script and story, um, it was, uh, good for the most part. Next, let's move on to the technical qualities. Now, I will say this: the um, um, now the original Alien did use uh, for the creatures and whatnot. The Alien, and uh, the original Alien used pretty much all practical effects. In this movie, there's you know the Alien creatures are CGI, and the CGI on the aliens, the Xenomorphs, uh, look great. Okay, they almost look just as good, if not better, than the original Alien. Now, I'm saying, I'm not saying this is a better movie than Alien by any stretch of the imagination, um, but I'm just saying that the CG definitely, um, on the Alien, like, the CGI Alien, I think, looks better than the, um, than the Alien in the original. Well, which, the, the Alien effects in the original are still really, they're great, but I just think that this one is uh, does it better. And also, I have to mention the cinematography in this movie. This movie has some of the best cinematography of the year, by far. It's shot by Darius Walski, I think is his name. Uh, the same guy who shot uh, The Martian, which was Ridley Scott's last film. And he proves, once again, that he knows how to shoot a movie. I mean, everything, like the shots of like the... Uh, the trees and the mountains and everything, the uh, the lighting, it was all perfect in this movie. And um, this movie also, uh, like the original Alien, has great uh, great set design. Also, the landscape and everything um, was great. Um, so as for the technical qualities, uh, fantastic, actually. Hey, I think the cinematography is probably the best thing about the whole movie. Um, so, uh, as far as uh, Alien Covenant goes, um, while it's not really that original um, in its structuring of its story, uh, it's still an enjoyable movie. It's well shot, well directed. Um, the acting is pretty solid. And um, overall, I'd say, like I said, if you weren't a fan of Prometheus and you wanted an alien prequel, I think this film is for you. So, as far as my overall grade, I think I'm gonna give Alien Covenant a grade of a B. A solid B. And, um, I'd say go see it. So, guys, let me know down in the comment section below, uh, which Alien movie do you prefer? Alien or Aliens? Me, personally, I enjoy Alien, but literally, like, a, just a had more than Aliens, but both movies are great. And another question is, uh, did you, uh, would you have liked to have seen a continuation of the story of Prometheus? Uh, let me know down below. So, uh, thanks as always for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.